raising chickens, guinea fowl, turkeys, and other birds for eggs and meat and for sale in the market is an excellent way to provide fresh, healthy food for your family and money for your household. Disease, however, can devastate a small flock. Newcastle disease is caused by a virus and is highly contagious among chickens, turkeys, pheasants, partridges, and other wild and captive birds. The virus is too small for you to see, but we show it in this video to help you understand how it spreads. Newcastle disease can cause all chickens in a flock to die in just a few days. It can occur and spread quickly, most often through contact with infected birds, which can look and act healthy. New birds that have come from markets and traders are often a source of the virus. It can also spread to your flock through contact with unclean farm tools, including baskets, hose, egg trays and cages, clothing or shoes of people who have been near infected animals and food and water that is dirty with manure or through the air from a nearby sick flock. There are many signs of disease or illness in birds with Newcastle disease. Sneezing, a runny nose, coughing, or difficulty breathing and gasping. Swelling around the eyes, neck, and or head. Greenish and watery manure. Eating less or none at all sleepy, drooping wings, fluffed feathers, and the bird's coat looks like it is dragging on the ground. Incoordinated or clumsy walk and movements. Birds that cannot move their wings and legs and or have a twisted neck. Any birds showing signs of Newcastle disease should be immediately separated in a sick pen and placed far from the rest of the flock. Contact your local agricultural extension agent or veterinarian for advice on how to manage your sick flock. Slaughter birds that are showing severe signs of illness, including gasping for air. Bury or burn dead birds in a pit for proper disposal and for preventing spread of Newcastle disease. There are four easy actions you can take to prevent or reduce the spread of Newcastle disease in your flock. First, the best way to avoid Newcastle disease is to vaccinate your flock regularly. Second, when returning from the market, keep chickens that have failed to sell or any new birds or chicks that you have purchased separated in a pen far from the rest of your flock for three weeks to ensure they do not have any illnesses which can be transferred to your flock. Third, maintain good hygiene around your flock. Wash your hands, clothing, and shoes before and after handling birds. If possible, limit contact between your chickens and other domestic poultry, such as domestic ducks, pigeons, turkeys, and guinea fowl and keep birds in a clean, safe coop. An elevated, well-ventilated coop with a mesh wire or slat floor will allow manure to fall through to the ground and minimizes contact with germs. Fourth, if your chickens wander freely, provide additional feed. Maize, bran, ground grains, green leaves, ground seashells, insects, and some meal scraps provide good nutrition and will give chickens a better chance of combating infections. Feeding your birds at a specific time in the late afternoon can also help train your flock to return to your land each day, which can protect them from predators. Vaccinate your birds against Newcastle disease regularly. Vaccines are very effective in preventing Newcastle disease. Talk with your local livestock extension agent or veterinarian to get more information about how you can keep your birds safe through a vaccination schedule. Following these actions can ensure a healthy poultry flock, which can provide money for your household and fresh, healthy, and nutritious food for your family.